All right, here's a uh, demo of the STL loader. So we can load up, for example, Benchy. Takes a little while to load. The arc ball kind of works. I don't know, it still feels like there might be something. Yeah, I don't know. It does seem to work. Might Maybe it has issues. So it tilts to the right a bit when you don't expect it to, but arc balls are always a bit challenging like that. I don't know. Might need a bit of exploration. I still feel like there's something not quite right with it. Uh, we can load the Stanford Bunny, and we can load the cover. And these are all um, just triangle lists that are being loaded. Uh, you can see it takes a bit of time to load them, it's not ideal. Um, it turns out that's not really um, anything to do with Umagine or JavaScript. Um, if I actually look, it's to do with the intersection between the two. So it's the fact that we have a whole lot of these render kit create triangle calls. Um, this bounce between JavaScript and um, uh, and the engine is a bit slow and that's just the nature of trying to do too many inter-process calls and wrangling those pointers onto the stack and everything else. So you're better to kind of keep it in its own world. Uh, we are doing a min-max and therefore setting the scale so all three of those objects have different scales but they kind of get appropriately scaled um, as, as it kind of enumerates through the code. Um, I've done a new fast loader where I just didn't bother going through and updating the triangles, I just literally take the raw um, data and pass it to a create triangle array. Uh, it now has a uh, color mode, which is, I've set it to 16-bit mode 2, uh, which is just a weird hack that uh, STL supports. Little Indian, because weirdly STL is Little Indian instead of Big Indian. Most of the time you'd want to use Big Indian, but anyway. Oh well, JavaScript does anyway. And then the, the pass in the face count, and then basically that will automatically add those triangles inside you imagine. So if we see that here, whoops, so if we go to the page three, fast STL, now we load Benchy, it just pretty much loads instantaneously um, because it's just able to grab that file out of the resource folder and then um, make all those uh, triangles really fast just because it passes them through as an array and the engine gets them uh, up and available for use. Uh, now fast Benchy does use this new function that I've just added um, into the documentation. So it's been added to custom script. There's the loaders for the little Indian and the big Indian versions. And um, here's the wrapper functions for four of them. So you can add quads, triangles, full quads and full triangles. With full quads and full triangles you pass in additional data. So you get um, per vertex floats uh, for normals, uh, vertex positions texture coordinates and color so it's a, a, you know, a lot more information per face um, uh, which could still be incredibly useful and, and important for some projects where you want to do something like we might want the um, g-code viewer for example to be able to specify per vertex normal so you can make what is effectively a, a square tube and look rounded by passing in per vertex normals and then um, you can do the uh, per face colouring rather than per vertex colouring just to keep it manageable in terms of file size. Um, so yeah, cool.